think it's a great racetrack. I, I think it's awesome. Yes, it is going to be one line, but from a rider's standpoint, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to open up. These guys are going to be able to carry a lot of speed and go. Yeah. <clears throat> it's technical, too. Mm -hmm. The rhythm sections are abrupt, yeah. kind of like the first round was. Everything is got like a little bit of a hit at the bottom, and it seems like everything's a little taller. And I don't know if that's by design or if it's a difference in the, the build or if that's part of a, a plan, but it seems like the tracks are way more compressed, taller, a lot more height on the jumps, uh, more technical clipping things. I, I mean, we're two rounds in, about to start three, and I, I like it. I think the tracks have been more challenging. And even uh, Justin Hill is saying, got to focus a lot more now on every obstacle. It's even hard to race sometimes because we're so focused on nailing everything. Or sometimes in years past, you would just rip around the track, you'd have to think at all. And now you're having to think all the time because mm. everything is so tight. And I, I, I think they're more fun to watch when they're like that. So, I like them. Um, Derek with Kawasaki, he's going to give us a couple of 3D parts for you guys to have in the booth. Oh, Maybe fantastic. there's time after that you come up and just That's cool. do it. Is there, is there a, uh, oh, yeah, exactly. where that falls in the show, is there is there an on-camera in the booth with Ricky and myself where we could do that and show that, or on the rundown? On the rundown now, but we can make oh, it. Oh, but we, so. see it, we see it in the piece, though, don't we? see it in the piece, oh, yeah. Okay. How's everybody's health out there? Uh, it it well, like they out. say they're okay right. and feeling better. <laughs> Miranda's got pretty dinged up last week, apparently. I didn't realize how bad he was, but... Um, apparently he was sore, like really sore, like didn't even have a four weeks riding, so I worked on starts, which obviously get opportunity to do that for him because I think he needs it, right? But, uh, but yeah, he's, he basically just did that and kept it pretty chill and, and I guess his helmet was like fully broken after last week and stuff. Like they said they didn't realize how bad it was until they kind of looked back at the footage and were like, ah, that kind of explains it, which it all broken down. And I was talking to him today and she said, you know, he's right, but he, he was just generally, upper body was sore and has been all week. So. It came down from a pretty good height and just came down on his side, didn't it? Like beside just, that jump, stop, look. Yeah, it just, I, I guess, when, when we saw it at the time, I mean, it's kind of, it looked, it didn't look terrible, you know? It wasn't like, oh, this is gonna mess his week up. Just kind of like, mm. uh, and he popped up, got right, back to 12th, right, so your thought is, right. oh, that sucks, but he's okay. Yeah. You don't realize that the adrenaline kicks in, he starts thinking championship, he gets up and salvages, and then he goes back to the truck and is like, ouch, oh. yeah. <laughs> Are you uh, concerned at all for Webb? Just the track itself having two sets of whoops, even? I mean, he's, well, you know, I mean, we've talked about he's gotten better, it's been the goal priority. This is kind of your, this is a big test, I mean, that's this, true. Last year, we, we talked about it a million times, he, with two sets of whoops, statistically, you know, he was slower. He still got great results, but it was more of a challenge for him. So, yes, I think it's for sure gonna be challenging. These were built hard, too. They're, they're not, they're gonna chew, but they're not gonna break down to where you can kind of just skip through and flatten through. I think they're gonna be, see, D Dungy and those, Dungy and Osho think they're gonna break down. I mean, they will, but you know how, like, in the East tracks, they break down and fill in. These don't do that as much. They break down and almost makes it worse because it's just the tops that break down. You can't really, they don't flatten. You know, I feel well, if whoops have a good entry into them and guys are able to carry a lot of speed, they start to flatten out. If they don't have a good entry and the bikes stall out, they fall deeper into the whoops. Dig so that's cup. when they start to cup out and get steeper. They almost get, like, like that like vertical so it just depends on how much speed they have on top of them is depends on how it breaks down and both sets have a really small entry whoop and a really big second one so which you, you would think that it's going to cup and get because they're not going to be able to get the drive through the first five and carry they're going to actually have to use the power of the bike to get through them and then they're going to dig if you yeah like you said if you use momentum you can skip across if you have to use power you're going to cup them and that's why I'm saying for him, he was always good when at the end of the night by the main, they'd flatten themselves out. Now, if these hold up and you're just seeing cups in the top, now they're, I mean, they're worse than they are when they're brand new. So I, we just have to sets, see, we have to see how they form. You know, we just have to see how they form. And we'll know, we'll know in practice.
All right, so you guys are on your own. You got race day live, three o'clock in the booth and on headsets, and then we'll do our cutting. Okay, perfect. Perfect.